CBS 42 is your local election headquarters and new this morning. We're one week away from the elections and we're taking a look at the statewide amendments on the ballot. Right. Among those is an amendment that relates to the Board of Trustees at the University of Alabama. CBS 42 News reporter Conan Gaspi joining us now live with a look at that amendment. Conan. Guys, there are three things that would change regarding the University of Alabama Board of Trustees if the majority of people vote yes on this amendment. So those are the things that we're taking a look at, those things that would change. So if you vote yes on Amendment 3, here's basically what you're getting. For one thing, the state superintendent of education would no longer automatically be on the Alabama Board of Trustees, as, again, if you vote yes. Of course, if they were nominated and then confirmed to serve, they still could. Also, a yes vote would mean that board members could continue to serve even after they turn 70 years of age. And a yes vote would ensure that representation on the board is based on congressional lines as they existed in January of 2018. This will make it be more reflective of the current location of those congressional districts and the residents of those districts being residents of those current districts as they reside. And, and for further information on that last point we made there, a yes vote would ensure that the number of board members does not change, even if the number of congressional districts in Alabama changes in the future. A yes vote, again, ensures that that number stays the same, regardless of any future changes. So that's a look at Amendment 3. We'll take it a, a look at Amendment 4 coming up in the next half hour. That is the one that relates to filling vacant House seats and vacant Senate seats in the state of Alabama. We'll break that one down for you coming up in the next half hour. Live in Birmingham, Conan Gasquie, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.